Cowboys Nation of YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you on Wacky Wednesday. And boy, was that game wacky. You can pretty much say it was a tale of two halves, right? In years past, we've had games where we've done absolutely nothing in the first half and come on in the second half to either come back and win or come so close to winning but still ultimately lose. This time, we put the just put it on Cincinnati in the first half, and then got stopped around in the second half. I, for one, it, in my opinion, I think because last week we heard uh, Mike McCarthy say he was going to step in and help out with the play caller. Now, if that wasn't a hint of what looked like it went down I don't know what is because that was definitely a different type of play calling in the first half and then you could tell it was more Kellen Moorish in the second half uh, you can now tell a difference between an experienced offense guy using his plays compared to whatever the hell Kellen Moore has been trying to run all these years because even with Cooper Rush as your starting quarterback we managed to put up 17 points on the defending AFC champions easily in the first half only when you start saying the same old mess that Kellen Moore be trying to call in the second half did it look like the offense just stalled out uh, three and outs and everything, almost turnovers, stuff like that. Uh, negative plays. So you could tell that something was definitely different between the half, first half and second half. Uh, defense still did their thing all game. Mark Parsons doesn't want to come off the field. And as much as we need him, he needs to start taking a uh, breather because if he'd have gotten injured because uh, it looked like later on in the game he did start limping around if, if he gets hurt I don't know what this defense is going to do because he was the lion that started the whole frenzy uh, he got two sacks he almost had two interceptions on screens because they kept trying to screen game his way for some reason and he almost picked them off twice. But that defense, they may not be coming up with all the turnovers like last year, but they are still consistently keeping these Cowboys in games. Uh, Zeke, I don't know what they're doing with him. I guess they're just waiting until later on in the season to use him a, a whole lot more. They aren't lying when they said they were gonna use Tony Pollard more. He's definitely gotten on the field a whole lot more than Zeke this season so far. Uh, his runs are sporadic, but when he gets a good one, he's been able to bounce out and take it, you know? Uh, another thing that's not mentioned a lot that uh, was the thing that everybody kept crying about in preseason, the penalties. We're not seeing as many, <coughs> excuse me, penalties, especially in like, the uh, first half of the Cincy game like we've been used to seeing. There was a couple boneheaded uh, defensive unnecessary roughness calls, but you know, I take those out and we played a pretty solid game. So, you can't get too mad at that. Uh, our offensive line is starting to look a little more cohesive. Of course, that is until they blow it up and, you know, put Jason Peters in, but uh, <coughs> right now, uh, damn, it looks pretty good. <coughs> uh, what else I want to talk about? Uh, Dennis Houston, I guess, got uh, released, on, and he's out on waivers uh, because they're trying to activate Peters onto the active roster, I do believe, maybe. Or they're trying to activate somebody, so they needed to make a roster space. Uh, for a guy who they trusted a lot, 
<clears throat> to not, uh, well, to get cut and hope to pass waivers is a gamble. Uh, you saw John Ridgeway got uh, waived and he got claimed off the waiver wire to the Washington football team, whoever they're called now, Commanders, Redskins. Uh, usually it's just to get a grasp on our playbook because they can't seem to figure out how Michael Parsons does Michael Parsons things and our defense has been so good so they're going to want to pluck his brain even though it's not going to help him. They don't have the talent like Micah. But uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. The uh, the waivers uh, with our former players. Uh, Cole Beasley got picked up by Tampa Bay. Tom Brady just keeps getting richer. Uh, even though he's lost a lot of players, he's still out here doing his thing. So it is what it is on that front. And uh, I give us a good grade for that win. I'm not going to say he's way better than Dak. I just say that they simplified the playbook and made better play calling for Cooper Rush than they would have done for Dak for some reason. And uh, another thing I noticed is a lot of the plays that were the same thing, they would call for Dak. The only difference was Rush bided his time. The offensive line held up. And he got a longer chance to look downfield for targets and trusted those targets than Dak would have. Dak would have dumped it off to his tight end or the running back in the flat and gotten like no yardage. But when there's a guy open downfield in another second, he wouldn't even have looked at him. Uh, I mean, I get it. I've said this in the past that Dak still has that college read kind of thing where he kind of targets one guy and that's it. If it's not there, he's not looking around for other targets. Uh, and that's a hindrance still to this day. Uh, Cooper Rush likes to see the field. He's more of a gunslinger like Romo, like hell, he said himself. So we'll have to see. Uh, as long as Cooper Rush wins games, I don't give a damn. Who's the quarterback right now? Uh, I'd like to see us win games. If Cooper Rush can do things like um shit what's that guy called uh, um, that won it all for Philly if he can come in and do that sort of thing so be it I'm not going to get mad but I'm not running the team and you know how the team is oh if we can rush Dak back we're going to play Dak even though Cooper Rush could be the hot hand We'll just have to see how it goes. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to take up too much of your time on a hump day. Be safe. Take care. I'll see you next time. This is VA Dallas Cowboy Fan. Out.